Hello YouTube from the Diesel Cave. I did some refinement on the system yesterday and today. And got rid of the diesel steam from the room. I made a coupling to the in injector and I use a syringe for the measuring for now until I get better measuring glasses. I can always weigh the diesel amount on scale but it's not so important it's it's the change what I'm measuring so I have MAN truck injector nozzle on a Mercedes CDI frame and we're going to run a little test on 800 bars and 600 microseconds for the actuation time 100 cycles and let's see what happens Point two volts at eight hundred. Give or take, couple, maybe ten, twenty bars. I don't care. And we have the driver. And let's see how much amount of diesel it will give us. That's milliliters scale. And 100 cycles, it gives you 100 times the amount that's coming out. But it's pretty good when you have 100 cycles, you can average the amount, how much comes out of there. And when you convert the milliliters to cubic millimeters, you just add one zero. So it's pretty easy measuring. So we have 65 cubic millimeters of fuel per, per stroke coming from that injector on that nozzle and 800 bars. Looking good. Should make plenty of power on 2.7 liter diesel. Should give around, I don't know, 80 to 100 horsepower per cylinder. If we can burn it all. We need <laughs> pretty much air to burn it all. Because I don't want to make smoke, I want to make power. Smoke is for those guys who just want to show off that I can pollute the earth with smoke but not making power turning that black smoke to power and get rid of the black smoke and you got heaps of more power than those guys are putting out that just want to smoke the world but that that's it today if you have some comments put them down below I'll answer when I remember and see the comments coming I don't always remember the answer though so sorry about that but well, that's all for today and take care now. Bye.